What's good, what's good? Good early afternoon from Accra, Ghana. The internet has been repaired, so let's pray that it stays that way. Um, we're gonna go over Phantom. Currently, we're sitting at $1.28. We're down about 3.6 on the day. We're seeing a mark count of 3.24 billion. 24 hour volume, 319 million. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app. Grab one of their incredible Visa cards, cashback in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime, travel incentives, $25 just for signing up through my referral. So we're gonna start here on the four hour time frame. So we have quite a large support box here in between about $1.29 and about $1.15. Now just keep in mind that that $1.29 is the neckline of that massive double top, which I'll show you here on the daily. But you can see all the support in this area in between 115 and 129. So I do think that gives us a good opportunity to bounce. We are starting to print a bullish divergence as you can see here on the four hour. We created a lower low while creating a higher low in the RSI and money is starting to flow back in, which is usually an early indicator the bears are running out of strength. If we look at the one hour time frame as well, you can see we're creating a lower low, higher low on the RSI. So we could definitely see a nice push back up to about $1.37 to retest that level of resistance. If we can come up and break through it, then I would target your next level of resistance here would be coming in. Let me give it a little price tag. Hopefully it doesn't turn green on me. Oh, bother. <laughs> Just quickly change these colors. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope the pets are healthy. I've had a crazy couple of weeks, but hopefully things start to improve here. So $1.53, see the resistance right here, resistance in this area, or previous support, previous resistance right here. So that will definitely act as resistance once again. As you can see for Phantom, we created a double top, we broke down. So nice little short trade opportunity of about 8%. If you wanna trade with me, make sure to sign up to Bybit. Just watch this support zone in between $1.29 and 115 we could definitely see a bounce from that level because if that support is lost, we do have these swing lows here. I could quickly drop in a line, which are coming in at about $1.05. I do think that would be your next level of support if $1.15 was lost. So I wanna pop over to the daily time frame. So you can see we came up, we got rejected by the top of our descending channel. Oh, as well as the EMAs, we got rejected by the 55 EMA and the 200 EMA. So Phantom may be looking to come back down to retest this previous swing high all the way down at 97 cents. We shot all the way up to the 1.618. So we may be going through a retracement. And if we use Elliott wave theory here, we can come down wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and the final wave five. That could take you down right around that 97 cent mark. Now, of course, it's theory based and it's quite subjective, but the third wave is usually the longest wave. And as you can see here, it is the longest wave. You have corrective wave four and your final wave five, which could take you down in between about 97 to about, I would say about 89, 90 cents. It's just a possibility, but the way to invalidate that is to hold the dollar 29 bounce, break out of our descending channel and start seeing continuation to the upside, break above $1.60 and push all the way up to the technical target of about $3.28. That is a bullish scenario in my opinion, but if we lose 129, we would be in a technical target of this double top. We did break down, we had a throwback, but if we break down once again, especially if we come down, we lose 97 cents, we are in a technical target to the downside of about 49 cents. I've been talking about that bearish divergence on the weekly. It does look like, in my opinion, that it wants to play out. It wants to come all the way down to oversold. And I do think that would bring you down at least to 96 cents or below. As you can see, we got rejected perfectly by the 20 EMA. We came back up. We retested the 20 EMA on the weekly. We got rejected. We're losing the 55 once again. So I do think that $1.29 is your crucial support. If the bulls are going to push up the price and take back control here, I do think they need to bounce from this strong level of support. I do think if this is broken, it is more likely that you're going to come back down to about 97 cents which is the previous swing high, and you can see the support in this area. So pretty crucial times for FTM. The bullish scenario is that we tested the descending channel and we got rejected and then we come up, we test it once again, we break through, we back this as support and we see continuation. However, if we lose that 129, we start to back this as resistance. I do think you're gonna come down to at least about 97 cents for FTM and allow this bearish divergence that is on the weekly time frame to fully play out, allow the RSI to come back down to oversold, as well as the money flow. 
before seeing that massive bounce back to the upside. I always like to give you guys all possibilities. Of course, I wanna see us bounce from $1.29 and break out and come up and break $1.60. But we also have to look at the fact that we got rejected by the EMAs, we fell back into the pattern. And if we are gonna see that fifth wave down, that will bring you down to about in between about 89 to about 97 cents for FTM. With our DCA strategy, we've had six entries with our break even sitting at 179. And if you'd like to try to trade this bullish divergence, what you can do is enter market order in with half your trade. You can market order in with half your position and set a limit buy at 115. So if it does come down to 115, you bring down your average price and then you can set a stop loss right around a dollar four, just in case you do see that continuation to the downside. It's just one way to play a potential bounce. Due, just due to the fact that this is a strong support zone and we are starting to see a little bit of a bullish divergence. That's it for this one. Shout out to the Discord. Over 1,800 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. We have some great members posting technical analysis. We have the DCA trade strategy fully explained, the DCA charts for the live trades on the channel. We just hit our third buy zone for MANA and our second buy zone for XRP. And we have buy and take profit zones based off support resistance Fibonacci. If you want to start dollar cost averaging into your positions, you can sign up through the Patreon. If you want to trade with me, sign up to Bybit. And I'll see you in the next video. All right. Much love. Take care.